as AI keeps improving at writing code, shouldn't we be worried about putting our jobs as developers at risk? You may intuitively think that if you start automating a job, that's the first step on the path to deprecating it, but historically that couldn't be farther from the truth. When the first spreadsheet program VisiCalc was introduced in 1979, accountants were terrified that this would automate their job away and make them no longer needed. Same thing with CAD and architecture, or even digital cameras and photography. The reality though is quite the opposite. For instance, in accounting, when you can automate away routine calculations, the accountants could focus on higher value work, like analysis and strategy. This enabled more sophisticated business planning, and thus accountants who embraced the new technology became even more valuable and sought after than ever. And similar happened in architecture. Well, if in those cases automation can make you more valuable, why aren't there travel agents anymore? The big differences really lie in the complexity and creativity of the job. So whereas in very displaced industries, you find very repetitive, simple, standardized, and uncreative jobs, in fields like software engineering, accounting, and architecture, you find creative, complex, constantly evolving, entirely unstandardized jobs, where no matter how much you automate, there's always a higher level, more complex, more creative, more challenging problem to solve. And as you probably already know, AI and creativity are a little eh. If we rank the value of what programming provides to a business, code syntax and formatting are generally pretty low on the list. If we could automate a lot of that and let you focus on creative problem solving, strategy and innovation, that multiplies your impact on a business. You can solve larger and more ambitious projects and propel the business you work at, or your own goals faster as well. At the end of the day, we know developers love to automate things. Why spend an hour doing something when you can just spend a week automating that thing? AI gives you a whole set of new tools to be able to automate work. So in this new world, you get to solve more complex, more high level, more abstract problems, and automate away all the tedious stuff, which in my opinion, that type of problem solving is the fun part of programming, not typing border top var dash dash red one picks solid. And at the end of the day, this is what your business wants of you too. I am the CEO of Builder.io. The more ICR engineers get amplified by AI, the more I want more of them because that becomes a competitive advantage. So if each engineer we have or hire can provide more value to the business than they have before because they're leveraging every AI, every tool, every automation that they could find, I want more of that so we can drive more ambitious goals and blow away our competition. And yes, AI won't be able to write every line of code for you or fix every issue today or ever. And for some types of programming jobs, it's really a lot less helpful than some others. But if you're doing things like converting Figma designs to code, writing unit tests, writing simple algorithmic functions, or looking for better ways to collaborate with other team members, AI today can help accelerate all those things, and tomorrow will probably only do better. So will AI reduce the need for programmers? No, not at all. And AI will make programming even more valuable and in my opinion, even more sought after, especially if you're really great at using it to achieve your goals and your business's goal. You can read more about this, including the sources of all the data I showed in my latest blog post on the Builder.io blog. And guess what? We just wrapped up a $20 million fundraise led by Microsoft. So that means my schedule's now more open to get back to making more videos for you. I'm excited to be back.